I'm a fireball. Hey guys, I'm going to start off by brushing my hair out and then I'm going to be applying the Crystally Heat Protector Spray to the ends of my hair. Now I'm just going to be using my Via Sassoon curling wand and I'm going to be placing it on 175 degrees Celsius as my hair is very thin. I'm going to be dividing my hair into four sections. I have it in four sections because my hair is very thin and if I make the sections any smaller then I'm going to get really really tight curls and it will just be too short for my liking. For the two sections closest to my face, I'm going to be curling them around the barrel away from my face and the ones that are closer to the back of my head, I'm going to be doing them in the opposite direction just so that they don't all curl and move and turn into one big curl, which I don't really like, it's just so that they're more divided. Now I'm just going to be running my fingers through my hair just to give my hair a bit more volume and to separate the curls and loosen them up a bit. Now to keep my curls in place throughout the entire day, even though that is not possible for my hair, they will eventually fall and turn into waves, but I'm just going to be using my Elnet hairspray just to keep them in place. Now onto my makeup and a disclaimer since this was videoed in my bathroom it has really poor lighting so I'm really sorry guys but I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Skin Perfection Magic Touch Instant Blow Cream wow that's a tongue twister and I'll be doubling that up as my primer applying it to my t-zone and problemed areas. taking another primer for my redness this is the Smashbox photo finish color correcting foundation primer and I'll just be applying that to my cheeks and my nose since that's where most of my redness is that I'm going to be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and I'm going to be highlighting underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead and my chin.
going to be taking my Face of Australia Translucent Powder and I'm going to be setting wherever I place the highlighting concealer. Next I'll be taking MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus and I'm just going to be setting the rest of my face. After that I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows using the Beauty Attitudes Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde. Then I'm going to be creating a very subtle cut crease using tees from my Naked 2 palette and I'm just going to be applying that with a crease brush. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New York Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in black. Then I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and I'll be applying a few coats of Maybelline New York's The Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Mascara in Blackest Black. Then I'm going to be applying black eyeliner to my waterline and tightline, however I'm only applying it halfway to make my eyes appear bigger. Then I'm going to be taking my holy grail bronzer which is Benefits Fuller and I'm just going to be applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, to my nose, my temples, forehead, my jawline and my neck. Next, I'll be taking Savvy's blush in Glamorama and I'll just be applying that to the apples of my cheeks. To finish off my face, I'm going to be taking NARS Albatross Highlighter and I'll be applying that on the highest points of my cheeks and my nose and my cupid's bow and my chin. So I usually skip this step, but today I thought I'm going graduation, I need this to last all day, so I'm just going to be applying Max Fix Plus all over my face just to set all my makeup. Going so fast, I can't keep up. Okay, so next I'll be using the Australis Lip Pencil in Mahogany Mood, and I'm just going to be creating a sort of, sort of like a base so that I can apply the Essence Lip Liner in 07 Cute Pink afterwards.
So this last step is optional, but I take just a random highlighter. Here I'm just using the highlighter in the Face of Australia Glamazon Contour and Highlight Kit in Leopardesque. Going to be applying it to the center of my lips, just so it creates a highlight. Okay guys, so that is it for the hair and makeup. Stay tuned to see what outfit I'm wearing for my graduation. Lego. And I am out.